Hey, it's H here. Today we're taking a look at technical analysis for Bitcoin. I'll cover wave analysis with the latest wave theory and provide multiple scenarios a price may take and explain why I prefer one count over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on a higher time frame, on 4 hour we've had two different counts. One is saying that we have an ABC and the other one is saying that we have a W, X and Y uh, coming down. On this W, X, Y, which is my main at the moment, we would have this as a W, X, Y as well, which is again, not a valid count by the original Elihuo book. But again, it fits better um, at the moment for me, uh, saying that we have an ABC in here, W, X, Y, and then another ABC coming down for the last leg. We have targets here for a higher time frame around the 12.2K area um, to 10.7K, or yeah, that area. So that lines up pretty nicely um, the targets there, but again, uh, this smallest time frame, this uh, minute account is of course debatable as we don't know where this B wave might go to. Now on smaller time frame, on one hour, let's take a look at this structure here. We had a possibility of this still being a wave four. However, it is getting less and less likely as we have create have been creating this wave four for so. So long now, comparing the time to wave two, we can see that it has gone beyond the 2.6 minute extension in time compared to this wave two. So it makes it way, way less likely of a count comparing it to wave three as well, beyond the 1.618 again, which makes it less likely. Now, overall, this is still alive as we don't have nothing but a price invalidation, which is all the way up here at 29.3K at which again wave 4 can't overlap with wave 1 here so that's the only invalidation we really have here. The other scenario is that we have this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 completed which is my main at the moment and that indeed um, would end the possible A wave here that I was looking for with this WXY count. Now the for, uh, way B here, we would be looking for at least the 32.8 or 38.2% uh, retracement levels, which currently lies at around the 23.3k area. And we'll look into this uh, current structure next. So over here, this is what we've got on 15 minute time frame. The bullish scenario is this one in which we have a one, two, three, four, five into an one or a wave. Again, uh, for a wave or five wave structure, we would have a three way pullback and then again, five waves at least for the a wave. And then again, three, four and five for the one, two, three, four, five or the impulse wave structure inside here. Since the lows were placed here around, um, 30th of June around the 18.6k area we've had this possibility of being a one then we would have this next structure as an a b and c it is very short here though it is possible uh, let me fix that and we do get right into the uh, 0.618 extension which is the minimum we want to see uh, on a zigzag which this definitely looks like to be um, Again, it is not likely for this to end as such, but again, uh, it hit the minimum extension here, so it is valid for me. Now at this point, we would be looking this as the pos possible wave two ending here. Um, again, this is the only bullish scenario I have at the moment, uh, saying again, we have a one, two, and another one, two. Now at this point, again, this definitely looks like five waves, so we would we could be treating this again as another five way structure. However, I'm not really um, li liking this overall as my expectations are still downwards on higher time frame. So this is my alt still. The bearish scenario is saying that we have a W three way move into X right here at the same lows on the, around the 30th of uh, June. Then again, this same um, a wave, A, B and C into B wave and now we would be looking for that C wave to get higher. Now we did hit the minimum extension here of 0.618 of this A wave for this possible C wave here 
Um, so we could be saying that wave C is already done, but we did not hit that minimum extension here on a higher time frame for this WXY count on this pink. So um, I don't think this is done. Instead, to me, this looks best as a one, two, or currently making the possible the wave two here, but we'll see what turns out to be the case. But again, this is uh, my main at the moment. The other scenario is this one, which Elo pointed out in Discord as well, uh, saying that we had a W, X and Y here into W wave. Um, this again gets right us, uh, gets the, to the extension of 0.618 here uh, at this highs of 26th of June. And then we have possible A wave um, and then A, B and C. Again, same, same possibility here of completing it down here or we could be looking for higher prices in which again we would be looking at this as an a b and c in which this is again just a one two um, either case uh, this would overall look to take out these lows here um, of this a wave same as we had with the other bearish scenario but that did not really play out too well so again another bearish idea here um, at this point again if indeed B is done here, we could be looking at this instead as a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, taking out this A and then uh, creating this X wave down here or, or the B wave. Again, if we are going to the 85.4 retracement of this first leg of this pink uh, W over here, then we would be treating this more as an A, B, and C just because of the retracement here. So. Again, what that changes is just the expectations for this last leg here that would become would become a five wave more likely than a three wave structure. But yeah, that is pretty much everything I wanted to share today. If you made it this far into the video, I would appreciate all the likes. Uh, link to my free Discord server in the description below, and please let me know what asset should I cover next. For now, I thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.